Shushana. Susanna, one. There dwelt a man in Babel called Yahu Yachim. And he took a woman whose name was Shushana, rather, Shushana, the daughter of Kilkel Yahu, rather, Kelk Yahu, rather, Kelk Yahu, a very fair woman and one that feared Yahweh. Her parents also were righteous and taught their daughter according to the Torah of Moshe. Now Yahu Yachim was a great rich man and had a fair garden joining unto his house, and to him restored the Yahudim, because he was more honorable than all others. The same year were appointed two of the ancients of the people to be judges, such as Yahuwah spoke of. That wickedness came from Babel, from ancient judges, who seemed to govern the people, these kept much at Yaakim's house, and all that had any suits in law came unto them. Now, when the people departed away at noon, Shushana went into her man's garden to walk, and the two elders saw her going in every day and walking, so that their lust was inflamed toward her. And they perverted their own mind and turned away their eyes, that they might not look unto heaven, nor remember just judgments. And albeit they both were wounded with her love, yet dared not one show another his grief. For they were ashamed to declare their lust, that they desired to have to do with her. Yet they watched diligently from day to day to see her, and the one said to the other, Let us now go home, for it is dinner time. So when they were gone out, they parted the one from the other, and turning back again, they came to the same place. And after that they had asked one another the cause, they acknowledged their lust. Then appointed they a time both together, when they might find her alone. And it fell out, as they watched a fit time, she went in as before with two maids only, and she was desirous to wash herself in the garden, for it was hot. And there was nobody there save the two elders that had hid themselves and watched her. Then she said to her maids, Bring me oil and washing balls, and shut the garden doors, that I may wash me. And they did as she bade them, and shut the garden doors, and went out themselves at privy doors to fetch the things that she had commanded them. But they saw not the elders, because they were hid. Now, when the maids were gone forth, the two elders rose up and ran unto her, saying, Behold, the garden doors are shut, that no man can see us, and we are in love with you. Therefore consent us, and lie with us. If you will not, we will bear witness against you that a young man was with you, and therefore you did send away your maids from you. Then Shushana sighed and said, I am straightened on every side. For if I do this thing, it is death unto me. And if I do it not, I cannot escape your hands. It is better for me to fall into your hands and not do it than to sin in the sight of Yahuwah. With that, Shushana cried with a loud voice. and The two elders cried out against her. Then ran the one and opened the garden door. So when the servants of the house heard the cry in the garden, they rushed in at the privy door to see what was done unto her. But when the elders had declared their matter, the servants were greatly ashamed, for there was never such a report made of Shushana. And it came to pass the next day, when the people were assembled, 
to hear, rather, to her man, Yahu Yachim. The two elders came also full of mischievous imagination against Shushana to put her to death and said before the people, Send for Shushana, the daughter of Kelyahu, rather, Kelkyahu, Yoachim's woman. And so they sent. So she came with her father and mother, her children and all her kindred. Now Shushana was a very delicate woman and beauteous to behold. And these wicked men commanded to uncover her face, for she was covered, that they might be filled with her beauty. Therefore her friends and all that saw her, rather, therefore her friends and all that saw her wept. Then the two elders stood up in the midst of the people and laid their hands upon her head. And she, weeping, looked up toward heaven, for her heart trusted in Yahweh. And the elders said, As we walked in the garden alone, this woman came in with two maids and shut the garden doors and sent the maid away. Then a young man, who there was hid, came unto her and lay with her. Then we stood in a corner of the garden, seeing this wickedness, ran unto them. And when we saw them together, the man we could not hold, for he was stronger than we, and opened the door and leaped out. But having taken this woman, we asked who the young man was, but she would not tell us. These things do we testify. Then the assembly believed them as those that were the elders and judged of the people. So they commanded, rather, condemned her to death. Then Shushana cried out with a loud voice and said, O everlasting Elohim, that know the secrets and know all things before thee be, rather, and know all things before they be, you know that they have borne false witness against me, and behold, I must die, whereas I never did such things as these men have maliciously invented against, against me. And Yahuwah heard her voice. Therefore, when she was led to be put to death, Yahuwah raised up the Ruach HaKadesh of a young youth with, rather, of a young youth whose name was Daniel who cried with a loud voice, I am clear from the blood of this woman. Then all the people turned them toward him and said, What mean these words that you have spoken? So he, standing in the midst of them, said, Are ye such fools, ye sons of Yashadael, that without examination or knowledge of the truth ye have condemned a daughter of Yashadael? Return again to the place of judgment, for they have borne false witness against her. Wherefore all the people turned again in haste, and the elders said unto him, Come, sit down among us, and show it us, seeing Elohim has given you the honor of an elder. Then said Daniel unto them, Put these two aside, one far from another, and I will examine them. So when they were put asunder, one from another, He called one of them and said unto him, O ye that are waxen old in wickedness, now your sins which you have committed aforetime are come to light. For you have pronounced false judgment and have condemned the innocent and have let the guilty go free. Albeit, Yahuwah says, The innocent and righteous shall you not slay. Now then, if you have seen her, Tell me, under what tree saw you them companying together? He answered, Under a mastic tree. And Daniel said, Very well, you have lied against your own head, for even now the angel of Elohim has received the sentence of Elohim to cut you in two. 
So he put him aside and commanded to bring the other and said unto him, O seed of Canaan and not of Yahudah, beauty has deceived you and lust has perverted your heart. Thus have ye dealt with the daughters of Yashadael, and they for fear companied with you. But the daughter of Yahudah would not abide your wickedness. Now therefore tell me, under what tree did you take them companying together? Who answered, Under a home tree. Then said Daniel unto him, Well, you have also lied against your own head. For the angel of Elohim waits with the sword to cut you in two, that he may destroy you. With that all the assembly cried out with a loud voice and praised Elohim, who saves them that trust in him. And they arose against the two elders, for Daniel had convicted them of false witness by their own mouth. And according to the Torah of Moshe, they did unto them in such sort as they maliciously intended to do to their neighbor, and they put them to death. Thus the innocent blood was saved the same day. Therefore, Kelkiahu and his woman praised Elohim for their daughter Shushana with Yahuyachim, her man, and all the kindred, because there was no dishonesty found in her. From that day forth was Daniel held in great repute in the sight of the people.